But, uh, so uh, on this demonstration, what we are showing here is uh, to uh, go through kind of a typical engineering workflow utilizing uh, multiple authoring tools which are a design tool using smart run enterprise. So in this one, basically we're starting from the PNID and then which being the source document, how the information flows through PNID to the rest of the authoring tools which would be uh, smart run electrical, smart run instrumentation, and as well as smart run 3D and all the information flows back and forth between those tools so we could use single source of truth instead of recreating information. So the exercise we will do here is to use one or the PNID you provide us uh, to share some information with the other tools in the integrated environment. So we will use this PNID. This is an intelligent PNID created in smart plan PNID from the scratch. As you can see, you have your symbology, you have your title block, and all the items, if you select in them, they are intelligent items. But we will talk about PNID in detail during the standalone demo. So now the exercise will be to publish this PNID to be transferred to a Smart Plan 3D and to correlate the information we have in a Smart Plan PNID with the model. Then we will publish again to, or we will retrieve the information in a Smart Plan instrumentation to get some loops and instruments from the PNID. And we will base our demo in this, in this model here located that is uh, in this form P106A. So we will be able to retrieve the motor of this form in a smart plan electrical. Uh, we will do a small change. We will add a control valve to publish to a smart plan instrumentation, add some dimensions, and retrieve that information from a smart plan instrumentation in a smart plan 3D to get the dimension from the smart plan instrumentation tool. So the first step will be to publish this PNID uh, to the integrated environment, so or to a smart plan foundation. I will close it. So now, from the drawing manager, what I have to do is just to publish the document. That in this case is uh, this PNID. So what I have to do is just to right-click, smart plan publish, and now the adapter is creating XML file. We share information through XML file, uh, or that's the way smart plan foundations are for, uh, share the information. So now we have the PNID. As you can see, this is revision one, version four. Just for your, just keep in mind this number to to see this when we retrieve in the other tools, and just click OK. Now the software is creating that XML file that will be accessed uh, through Smart Plan Foundation uh, from 3D. Could be uh, taken from electrical and from Smart Plan instrumentation as well. Um, in this case, uh, for a smart plan 3D, we will be able to grab the pipe runs, we will be able to grab uh, instrumentation, to grab the valve, and all the information to be modeled. In a smart plan instrumentation, we'll be, we will be able to, to get instrument line associated with instrument, even loops that they don't appear in the PNID, but they are hidden in the database. Uh, we will be able to get some equipment. In the smart plan electrical side, we will be able to retrieve all loads. We will be able to retrieve process equipment and, um, and some other information. We can even retrieve some uh, attributes from each um, item type. Okay? So, so still. Yeah, at this point, probably we just like to mention one thing that on this one laptop, we are running uh, three servers actually, as you can see. We have smartphone instrumentation, electrical, and SPF. So it looks like it just got finished. Yep. So now we will switch to Smart Plan 3D because the, the next step in our demo is to retrieve this PNID in the Smart Plan 3D. Okay. 